kelas 11 kurikulum merdeka kita masuk pada halaman 17 aktivitas ketiga nah di sini ada perintahnya pilihlah kata-kata yang cocok atau benar untuk menyelesaikan bagian pertama setengah bagian pertama dari cerita lingkari jawaban kamu kemudian dengarkan dan periksa nah ini transkrip uh, listeningnya ada di guru uh, buku guru Nah, sekarang kita dengarkan bagaimana transkripnya. Kita akan mendapatkan apa yang mana yang benar, ya? Apakah yang power atau poor, ya? Flower yang mana, ya? Kalian lingkari nanti. Nah, untuk itu kita dengarkan bersama-sama. The Legend of Ndong Snake. Once upon a time, on the slopes of a mountain in Jambi Province. There lived a poor mother and her three daughters. For their living the mother and the youngest daughter had to work hard all day long, while the first and second daughters were lazy and did nothing. One day, the mother got such severe pain that she could not move from bed. Then, the daughters called a shaman. Sir, Please help us heal our mother, said the daughters. The shaman suggested, based on my insight. Your mom must be treated by a special flower that grows at the top of the mountain. Then, it must be boiled in a magical pot kept in a dark deep cave guarded by a large mighty serpent named Ndong Snake. But, According to the tale, no one could ever go back home save as the snake would swallow them whole, warned the shaman. Hearing that, no one dared to go, except for the youngest daughter. I will go to the top of the mountain to get them from the snake, said the youngest daughter bravely. Oh! We all will pray for you, sister, uttered the first and the second daughters in relief. You really have a pure soul. Go and get them, girl. But, you have to be really careful. I will take care of your mother here, said the shaman. Without waiting any longer, The youngest daughter went to the mountain. After three days of walking, she finally reached the mountain peak. Ah, that's the flower. I have to go really quick, said the youngest daughter. It was just in front of the cave door. When she grabbed it and was about to put it inside her bag, she heard a very loud snake hiss. Of course, she was scared to death. Hiss. You are so brave to come to this place. Did you just steal something from my place? You'll surely be a perfect breakfast. You have a nice scent. So appetizing hissed the snake horribly. Oh magic snake, please, pardon me. I certainly don't dare to bother you, but my mom is seriously ill. I am here to beg for only one flower and borrow your magic pot to treat my mom, the youngest daughter fell on his knees while crying. Unexpectedly, The snake started to shed tears, what a nice girl. You risk yourself coming here to treat your mom. That's right, oh snake. I love her so much and I am begging for your help, she still could not stop her tears. All right. I will let you bring the flower and lend you my magic pot with only one condition. 
You have to promise to return here as your mother gets better and stay here in this cave with me, said Ndong Snake. Because of her love to her mom, the youngest daughter nodded in an agreement, thank you. Oh, Magic Snake. I will certainly return to fulfill my promise. The youngest daughter then went back home, gave the flower and the magic pot to the shaman, and immediately went back to the mountain. Even though deep in her heart, she did not really want to go back. Just then, the youngest daughter returned to the top of the mountain in the middle of the night. To her surprise, she did not meet Ndong Snake but a well-built man. Don't be surprised. I am Prince Abdul Rahman Alamzaya. I was cursed by my uncle and became a snake. Every night I will return to my true form as a human and return to be a snake as the sun rise, said the prince. Meanwhile, when the mother heard the story of the youngest daughter, she wanted to see her. She asked her other daughters to go to the top of the mountain. In the middle of the night, the three of them could finally reach top of the mountain. How surprised they were to see the youngest daughter with a very handsome man. The youngest daughter was so happy to see her family and introduced them to the prince. The youngest kid told them the story of the prince. Feeling jealous, while all of the people already fell asleep, the first and second daughter took the prince's snake skin, burned it all, and put the ash next to the youngest daughter. On the following day, when the prince could not find his snake skin but some ash next to the youngest daughter, he thanked her. He was so happy because the curse was gone forever as the snake skin was burned. Finally, the youngest kid and the prince were married and returned back to the kingdom. They lived happily ever after. Nah, itulah dia uh, transkripnya. Mudah-mudahan bermanfaat. Sampai jumpa.